Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and it is January 2024 and this is my very first witch casket of the new year and I couldn't be more excited. Um, as always, we will go through everything in the box in as much detail as I can give you. Um, just a little reminder, of course, that these are a small mother-daughter business based in the UK. They completely practice what they preach. Um, everything is done with so much love, care and attention and with thought not only for magical practices, but for the planet and everything as a whole. So, um, yes. Here's to another wonderful year of opening witch caskets with you. So let's get inside and see what January has in store for us. January 2024 brings us the theme of magic rituals. Um, the January caskets are always a little bit extra special, I think because a lot of people begin collecting the caskets in January. Um, it's also a great time for anybody, of course, to start a new uh, magical routine, to maybe revisit old beliefs and uh, just refresh older practices. So um, the little booklet I will go back to um, at the end should we need any extra information, but I do like to have a rummage without all the information to start with. So, uh, each month we get our art card. This is a particularly nice one. I'm loving the sort of grey and um, dusty purple colour scheme here. Um, so we've got a, a little purple head witch sitting at a desk in front of the cauldron. We've got a little cat escaping up here. Um, yeah, lots of things to look at and explore in that image. And as they've been doing now, we get our manifestation prompt on the back of the art card. So this says, what are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take? And what magical steps can I take? The seeds are planted, intentions are set. I command that my desires be met. So there we go. I like to use these as a focus for meditation, um, but you could also use them in journals. You could just display them as pieces of art. There are many, many ways that these can be used and I think they are beautiful just to be collected. Um, yeah, really, really lovely. Oh, we do love a book. Look at that. Oh, stunning. Lovely. Really, really nicely put together. We have a book of rituals. This is, I think, probably the same size as the dream journal that they did last year. Um, lovely end papers and then inside ritual name intention purpose goal magical tools used deities or elements invoked date day of the week moon phase ritual action and incantation and then notes on the outcome and then that repeats all the way through what a lovely lovely addition um, and just oh, really nice and yeah a great size um, and yeah I'm happy with this and just that the shine on that is stunning okay oh it's gonna be a good box I can tell so um, another monthly regular is a ritual kit or spell kit so this is an altar blessing ritual kit containing everything you need to cleanse your altar or sacred space. So let's see. I think this, yeah, there was some distinctly herby smells coming and I think they're coming from in here. So we have got a white spell candle. We have got our instructions. 
we've got two herb sachets and some clear quartz. Okay, so we've got lovely chunky bits of clear quartz there. And then we have got mint and dill weed in these packets. So a beautiful ritual to cleanse and bless your altar, sacred space, and ensure you have tranquil space to work your magic. Uh, yeah, so very simple, lovely ritual there, all written out for us. And again, <laughs> just beautiful attention to detail. The spell is printed on another lovely art card. And so here we've got a bubbling cauldron with these green flames coming up. It's really nice. Oh, I'm, I'm matching. <laughs> so, yeah, and it is, it's the mint that I can smell coming out of here. So, yeah, really, really lovely. Everything that you would need to bless and cleanse. Oh, we have some more spell candles. So this is, we've got black, green and purple. And on the back here, it tells us what each one is for. So these candles can be used as part of any spell or ritual. Use the color to match your intention. Black for protection, banishing and hex breaking. Green for money, abundance and good fortune. And purple for enlightenment, psychic ability and spirituality. And these are great. Um, I always like the little mini size spell candles because they burn down nice and quickly and safely. Um, the colours are really nice and vibrant there. Um, I can remember back in the day, it was always difficult to get a decent black candle. So many black candles that were sold were white candles coated in black and it just doesn't quite have the same effect. So yeah, a good quality spell candle is always lovely. Back to our regular items. Each month we get a scroll. So these scrolls can be um, displayed, you pop them in a, in a little frame, put them on your wall, you can stick them in your book of shadows, you can chop them up and use them in collages. There are many different ways to use them. So here we have a self-empowerment ritual. Simple, beautiful ritual to make you realise the strength you hold. So light a red candle, stand in front of the candle, raise your arms and express your power as follows. And then it gives you all of the details. So really, really lovely. I do love the little stickers that they use to seal these each time. Um, I think I'm now, um, now that I'm, I'm getting, <laughs> I've had lots of practice now of peeling them off quite carefully. So I'm thinking that I'm going to stick these stickers in my journal to mark the day that I do my witch casket unboxings. So then I'll have a slightly different sticker each month um, to show the theme, because that's another thing, of course. Every month, not only are they changing the items, but the theme follows through the color scheme. It's just attention to detail all the way through. So uh, let's go pin badge, because that is another monthly regular. Um, and I love a pin badge. So here we see the image from the spell card, um, or the ritual card repeated here. So we've got that green and purple and black um, repeated with the cauldron and the flames. It's really nice. The single pin back, beautiful. And again, you know, the card itself that the pin badge is on is just lovely. Really, really nice. What's this little one? This is a crystal. It is a piece of fluorite, I think. Let's have a look. What are you? Oh, you are a piece of fluorite and a beautiful piece of that. Fluorite has that kind of amethysty purple, but then with a blue green kind of tone really nice and can go sometimes you get much much more green bits and sometimes they are much much more purple but yeah fluorite helps to cleanse purify and stabilize which helps concentration organization and memory can absorb negative energy and stress and encourage new ideas learning and confidence it's also i have found incredibly good for toothache and um, just hold a piece against your your jaw where the pain is I found that to be incredibly helpful. 
beautiful. Okay, we're into the big stuff now. So, ornate wooden slice ritual tile. Let's see. Oh. lovely these carved wooden elements that we've been getting in the last few boxes are so so beautifully put together that is absolutely lovely and because they are natural wood no two will ever be exactly the same everybody's is going to be slightly individual i've got this kind of knot here in the center of mine i really like that yeah I like that a lot. Really, really lovely. And you can you know, use this as a charging pentacle on your altar. You could use it as an offering platter. There are many, many ways to use this. I like it. It's very nice. Um, I don't know what wood it is. I'm hoping that it will tell us what wood it is in the um, Booklet. So this says here, ritual tiles can be used to rest your chalice when not in use. To protect your sacred altar, they can also be infused with energy and intent and used as a surface for your herbs, crystals, incense burners or candles during ritual work. So, yeah, perfect. Lovely. Let's go for another box. Oh, this is heavy. Spellcasting candle holder. Oh, we've got cast iron here. That looks of things. That, that has got some weight to it. How beautiful. It's like the bottom of a little cauldron. It's got a pentacle on the bottom. So perfect for um, using with a spell candle. Let me grab that little white spell candle that we had. So yeah, perfect size for a little spell candle. Um, and then you can add herbs and crystals around the outside to represent whatever spell you are casting that is so lovely so it says here what have we got this is such a, uh, witch caustic's exclusive candle holder allows you to neatly and safely encircle your candles with magical herbs crystals amulets and affirmations to match your desires so yeah, as i have said but yeah that is that is some cool quality craftsmanship there that's really really lovely we've got some incense a powerful blend of bergamot and lavender 100 percent natural fragrance um, this is a power up incense light the incense and affirm magical power i call to me as i will so mote it be and this is your your standard um sort of stick incense which why can I not get in the box what's going on come here okay. oh yeah it smells lovely so yeah this is your standard incense but my goodness is it potent and I think that's down to the fact that they've used natural ingredients to give it an extra kick. That's really lovely. Nice, plenty in there as well. That'll keep you going for a long, long while. Another box, beautifully decorated. A decorative ritual bowl. Let's have a look. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is tin got the witch casket logo on the bottom and I don't know why but that is giving me kind of Nightmare Before Christmas vibes that kind of stuff or sort of Coraline there's something yeah dark but playful about it I like that a lot it's a lovely lovely color it's that dusty purple again so what are they saying what does it say 
Uh, use the decorative ritual bowl to blend your magical components together for spell work. It can be used as an offering dish or receptacle for your small auto curiosities or crystals. Hand wash only. So, lovely. Pop our crystal in there. And then, final item. <gasps> oh! Magic wand. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. They have put out a couple of wands previously, but this is by far the most beautiful of the ones that they have created. It fits beautifully in the hand. It's a great size for traveling. Oh, it's giving me, it's actually giving me chills. It's so, so beautiful with the pyrography at the end with the stars. Yeah, that's, that's stunning. Um, yeah, they've outdone themselves, which I'm sure I've said before. Yeah, I feel like every box just gets better and better so that is our our whole box um let me just dig out the booklet and we'll just check through see if we can find a little bit more information so greetings our magical family of witches your first casket of 2024 celebrates magic rituals again we've got this gorgeous art style um, so many wonderful magical plans for 2024. Um, be sure to tag us on social media, hashtag witchcasket, sending all our love and positive energy. Be well, Deb and Ella. So, we've got the book of rituals, the ritual bowl, the magic wand, um, made from acacia wood known for its protective properties the candle holder candle collection the ornate wooden slice um does it say it doesn't say what wood that is oh i might have to reach out and ask them it's possibly just just pine it's possibly pine i'll have to have a look we've got the incense the blessing kit fluorite tumbled stone bubbling cauldron enamel pin self-empowerment parchment scroll and the art print so gorgeous 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 so yeah, I, I could not be happier with everything that we've received. Um, I always ask you to let me know down in the comments what your favourite item is that I've received. I know for me, I think it's got to be the wand, although the book is a close, close second. Um, but I think, yeah, we have received such a lovely collection of items this time around and yeah really oh i'm so happy so um yeah do let me know um if this has sparked your interest in getting your own witch casket i am not sponsored or affiliated with witch casket in any way i just love their subscription box um and if i didn't love it i wouldn't buy it <laughs> so um yeah Really, really pleased with this one. Stunning, stunning items. And again, unique, unusual things that you can't just go and buy anywhere else. And I think for me, that is the key, is to find something that is a little bit special. So, um, yeah, that is all from me for today. Thank you for joining me for the first Witch Casket unboxing of the year. Obviously, there'll be many more to come. Um, do remember that at the beginning of February we will have our in bulk live ritual 
February the 1st, which is a Thursday. Um, so you can join me here, eight o'clock in the evening, UK time, and we will do a live ritual, should you wish to celebrate the Sabbath with me. So until next time, I'm gonna leave this here, do all that YouTube-y stuff, and until next time, stay crafty.